Hey YouTube, it's Paul Winter again. You may have already seen my other videos about my Samsung Vibrant rooted with various ROMs such as Eugene 373 and some Bionics ROMs. Well, today I have just installed um, some Bionics and Team Whiskey's Fusion ROM, which uh, basically puts these two things to get two creators together and uh, created a ROM without the TW launcher. So let's go ahead and have a little run through with that. Alright, so it's a new boot sequence, so I'm just going to show that. Alright, so I'm just going to go over the basics of the ROM. There is no TW launcher, which is uh, Samsung's original launcher thing uh, with the little four icons at the bottom. Instead, they have integrated um, Launcher Pro as well as the stock vanilla launcher. Remember back when the G1 had that little bar right here? some weird noise yeah the G1 had the little bar right here that you can just swipe up alright so it still has the puzzle lock screen you have a choice between four puzzle four lock screens um, alright so um, I got a little message right there but we're just gonna ignore it for now so you have a choice like I said between launcher pro and home home is the original vanilla launcher which is the little square rectangle um, icon drawer standard or you can use launcher pro with, and they did a little customization with this one um, instead of just ordinary rectangles they made a little better rectangle but um, this launcher pro is customizable all you have to do is just press the menu button and preferences and then you can just customize it all all you want um, yeah anyways let's go to the app menu um, there are still um, applications from the uh, Samsung Vibrant original such as files um, calendar calculator uh, media hub super user task manager and titanium backup there's still um, attributes of TW launchers so I'm just gonna go basics of it it still has that little dialer where you just type in a name I didn't I haven't really imported any any contacts in yet so yeah anyways um, call log voicemail Uh, let's go to messages, messaging. It's still that little bubble launcher one. Yep, bubble launcher or bubble um, messaging. Then you can still customize it. Same thing. Same thing, just like TW, except without the TW framework, I believe. Um, this ROM has the JI2 modem, which um, basically helps conserve battery life. Um, compared to the JI6 modem, uh, JI2 has a better battery life, but the JI6 has a better data reception, 3G reception. So um, you got to weigh those choices if you want that. Um, let's see. They have... Uh, um, let's see. Turn on Wi-Fi. It says here that they... Um, improve the satellite lock and here goes a little swipe keyboard still looking good anyways um while I put this in anyways um there's a few features like uh, pre-installed Pandora um, titanium backup and there's uh, I think there's four keyboards out there. Let's see. Let's go to settings. Oops. Uh, locale and text. For now, the HTC IME mod does not work correctly, so they're going to fix that in another build. Um, but swipe, Samsung keypad, HTC IME mod, and standard Android. That's four keyboards. Customize it however you like. 
Let's go to sound and display. Uh, all your features right there like vibration, intensity, haptic feedback. But it, um, they have a little feature called unlock screen. You have a choice of four unlock screens. You can go with the puzzle lock which is the, the one I showed you before. You can go to the glass lock which you just sweep to unlock. You gotta sweep it really far to get it to unlock. Or you get the standard Android lock. Or you can get the epic lock. Now, there, there's a lot of uh, different um, types of builds you can download. There's a build without the current, uh, without the overclock kernel, with the overclock kernel, with the lock screens, without the lock screens. Whole bunch out there. I can't really describe them all in depth. So, just read the forums. Um, let's go to about phone. Two point still based on 2.1. It says here it's JI2, but right here it says JI6, but it is a JI2 build according to Sombionics and Team Whiskey. And uh, let's see. Pretty loud there. Um, let's see, I haven't really signed into my Google account. I didn't really do much. This is just maybe the second reboot. So um, it has the Froyo market, uh, which is the newest market out there. And then there's another little feature. Whenever your phone just starts to lag up, freezes up, all you have to do is just hold the home button down. And then you see right here, it's called. Um, there's a little icon at the bottom called Task Manager. All you have to do is click that, end all your tasks, and then your phone will just magically reboot itself that's only if whenever you need to do that you only really need to do that whenever your phone just freezes up completely but um, I haven't had it testing for a while um, like I said this is just the second boot up let's see um, cameras there with your customizations on the side tons of little uh, customizations I'm um, not going to really go into depth with that. And uh, there's still the 3D gallery. Everyone likes the 3D gallery, especially on the Vibrant. Works very well. And then there's your alarm and clock, all share, call log. Um, let's see what else is there. Let's go to home. Um, not too much to mess around with this screen, I guess. Um, maybe you can customize it just a little. If not, oh well. That's this is for those who do like the stock 2.1 look. <clears throat> um, so far, so good. Um, I haven't had really any problems with this uh, build, but like I said, I haven't been running it very long, so. see how fast web browsing is. Um, I am on a weak Wi-Fi connection so maybe that's why it's so slow but whatever. Alright. Yep. Browsing is pretty quick. And then there's still the multi-touch pinch thing. Uh, you can't really see it because it's a black background, so I'll just change that. But um, it just allows you to see all your home screens. There you go. Now you can see it. So um, that's pretty much it from this build. Um, can't really go into depth too much, I mean, uh, without boring everyone, such as this really specifics, programming, stuff like that. So, there you have it.
it looks it looks like a promising ROM. Uh, hopefully they'll update it, make it a lot faster, fix that HTC IME keyboard mod, and uh, that's pretty much it. All right, let's turn this off. And there's oh yeah, and there's a little reboot option now. Instead of just the power off, they integrated a reboot option. Pretty cool mod from there. Instead of just uh, powering off and then waiting for it and pressing the button again right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and power this off. Shut down sequence engaged. Primary systems offline. Alright, this is Paul Winter. Please subscribe if you want to keep up with the latest updates about custom ROMs with the Samsung Vibrant.